what's up y'all it's mm, k and i'm here with the creative some collab video brought to you by kia <laughs> i love her so much that's my boo y'all but um so this is called this is how i created some and first of all let me just get that out of the way so when i create a sim i very rarely go into create a sim and randomize a sim and then go off of them very rarely i usually um use a townie like so a townie that needs a makeover that's usually what i do i'll go in the game i look at them I'm like oh they need a makeover or oh they're not that bad i can see them, them looking better if xyz and so that's what i do um when i create a set now um how did i get into this set? I got into The Sims when I was nine years old. Um, my grandmother left me some money, um, my great grandmother, um, rest in peace. And I had to, you know, think what I was gonna do with it. Now me being nine years old, I was like, oh, um, I, got, I want a game, I want to do, I want something fun. I gotta spend it all. <laughs> so I, find the sims like my parents took me to the store and i find the sims and i'm looking at it and i'm like oh this looks like what i love to do with those things called dolls i know we hate that comparison but honestly like let's be honest when you're playing with dolls you're recreating life that's what you're doing like you're simulating life so you can kind of see the connection <laughs> there especially as a nine-year-old and the first um sims game i ever played the first one i bought was the sims deluxe edition that was basically the classic sims with the add-on called living large and that was just you know them a little, little being a little bit fancy yeah <laughs> um what is my favorite part of creative sim my favorite part of creative sim would have to be hair and that's because if you throw a little wig look look at it you throw a little wig on sis and that changes her entire identity <laughs> it switches it's like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> she's somebody completely different now. Um, a runner-up would have to be eyes, though. Like, I am in love with CC eyes. Like, um, shout out to Dangerously Free Jellyfish. That's my favorite CC eye creator. I am obsessed with downloading CC eyes because that's another one where it's like, depending on the eyes, it's like, get completely changed the sim. Um, my favorite thing about, uh, the, the Sims in general, my favorite thing about the game in general would be creating a Sim and seeing that Sim live life, like how you, um, pictured them. So if I make a goth Sim and seeing that Sim live like a gloomy and kind of, you know, dark lifestyle is my favorite thing about the game or if i make like a bougie sim and seeing her live like this classy snooty uh spoiled lifestyle that's my favorite thing about the game and as far as base game matches match or alpha cc i'm gonna have to keep it a bug with you <laughs> i'm definitely gonna go with alpha cc and that's because that's the first cc that i ever um connected with when i started downloading cc for the sims 4 i have found ebonic sims and my boo had the braids and the dreads and the throws and all of that and i'm like bingo and so alpha cc is my favorite cc like i mean it is what it is <laughs> um but yeah thank you so much kia like this is so lit like this is huge <laughs> this is so huge this collab i can't wait to see everybody else's um create how i created some videos like that's that's lit to me <laughs> so yeah y'all y'all make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe if you're the homie and make sure you hit that little bell <laughs> it's okay bye y'all